important about a, a bologna sandwich is you can't have a little bitty tiny thin piece of bologna. That ain't gonna work. We've got uh, we've got teachers, people who work for the power company. We've got the uh, gas firefighters. companies, firefighters, police, police. officers. <laughs> when they come in here and order a bologna sandwich, they don't want a little bitty tiny thin piece of bologna. Hello everyone, this is John Moore of the Appalachian Channel and I'm excited to be in Rocky Top, Tennessee today at the Cold Creek General Store and this is the owner Jason and Natalie Deal. They opened this up September 30th of 2023 and it's been Jason's vision to own a little country store, a little general store and we're going to go inside and check it out. You going to show go. us around some? Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. So one of the things we're most proud of is our mural. And this was kind of Natalie's idea with, you know, coming up with what goes inside of it. We had a local artist, Casey Davey. She came in and we wanted a place for the locals to, to be proud of. So you could snap, get right here and take a selfie. But also the, our out-of-towners, people who come from out of town. Listen, everybody knows about Rocky Top, but you need a spot to let everybody know you made it to Rocky Top. And that's a nice staple, I think, for the town. It's more about the town than it is the Cold Creek General Store, but it's a really, really cool place for to come and snap a photo and just get a good selfie. Tell us a little bit about the outside of the building here. I know you did quite a bit of work to it uh, yeah. originally when you bought it. Yeah, so all the outside is original, of course, minus the mural. Uh, we had to redo the window frames. As you can see, there's steel um, bars and screws holding the building together now. We had to redo all the electrical, all the plumbing. We did have to take a back section of the building off uh, because it was just too far gone. It just fell in. And, um, but everything else out here is original. And uh, Natalie's vision again over here on the front, we wanted to keep this as original as we possibly could. So this paint color is still there from the 40s, we believe, right? That old light fixture, I mean, that's original. And then of course the front doors. This is not going to change. It's still got the old flake paint on it. And, uh, we love our chippy paint. Yeah, we just cleaned it up a little bit and it's going to stay the way it is. Come on in, let's show you around. So Jason, tell me uh, what came about that you decided uh, you wanted to open a general store. I know you're in the auction business there in Clinton on Market Street. and. Uh, is this something that's been in your mind for a while? Tell us about how it came about. Well, John, I'll tell you, you know, uh, a little bit of craziness is what happened. Uh, I feel like I maybe hit my head on a rock. Um, but Rocky Top is a small town. And it's a small town like where I'm from, a little town called Hayside, Virginia. And I've always kind of bought and sold and traded. And I've always dreamed of having a little store, a little country store, where people could come in and you could meet the people of the community. They could come hang out. And, and that's really the vision of this store, is a place for people to come in here and call it their store. This is Rocky Top's store. Now, yeah, Natalie and I are the owners, and Haley is the general manager, but really this is a store for the town. Um, so that was our vision. You know, to provide a place for locals to, to make things and, and we purchase them from them and bring them to the, to the community. Um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of the vision. Yeah. And uh, it's, been a, uh, it's been a labor of love. It really has. I know the building had to have quite a bit of work. What did you yeah. think when you first saw the, the building that you wanted to put this in? What did you think about it? It was, um, yeah, a little bit of work uh, <laughs> is an understatement, but I loved it because it's a historical building um, and it just had such great feeling to it. And I knew that we could turn it into something gorgeous again. And I think we've done a really good job of keeping the history of the building um, the way it is, but giving yeah. it a fresh look as well. John, I'll tell you, when it rained outside, it <laughs> rained harder in here. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The entire roof had to be replaced. We had to enforce the roof with angle iron, with steel mm -hmm. and metal. Every eight feet, we had to put four by four posts and then the corners had to have six by six posts to reinforce. Now this building was built in 1900. Yeah. And it's one of the oldest buildings in Rocky Top. So, and it, and it started as an old store, an old country store. Mm -hmm. So it's giving me goosebumps I thinking know. about it. <laughs> uh, 124 years later, look where it's at now. It's right back as an old country store and that's kind of our vision. 
and we've kept a lot of the same things, right? Uh, there's a lot of original things to this building still. So we have some of, of the original light fixtures. The exterior light is original. Um, you know, that brick is all original yep. here, and we haven't done anything to it. All we've done Floors. is just yeah, we've just kind of prettified it. Um, even some of the paint we kept. The the door you'll see is crackly um, with the original paint, and we like it that way yeah. because that just brings back the originality of the purpose of this building and what we've you know made it again. So, yeah. Show some of the stuff you sell. You said you. Talking earlier there about selling a lot of taffy and honey. And yeah. So let's let's just this is kind of our local wall over here, John. Um, it starts right here. We'll start with these knives. These are all handmade by a local artist. These are Damascus steel knives. It gives them a place to sell it. Start and look on along the walls. These wreaths and all these wooden signs and and all yes. these little koozies. This is all made from a fellow right here in Rocky Top. A lady here makes these wreaths and all the all the wooden signs and the leather pieces. This is all handcrafted products um, right here. This is made in the USA stuff now. This is that's one of the things we're proud of. Even our fire wooden kindling. We got a guy who hand cuts this stuff. He's right here in town. And this is some of the best firewood oh, yeah. of all time. Yeah. Um, our honey is one of the things we're most proud of. We've got one of the yes. largest selections of honey in East Tennessee. Um, we've got biologists, a young family, both husband and wife who are biologists who severely buzz and they really know what they're doing. We've got Roan County honey, Anderson County honey, Knox County honey, and then you get into the jellies and the jams and the pickled eggs and I mean just the reload seasoning, uh, golly, just you know all this local, local stuff. And then of course we've got some toys, you know, for the youngins. They've got to have something to play with. Which um, these got are those just, and, these are new and yeah over got the old, this is the old, the old rubber chicken you know you got to have a got got to have no chicken yep <laughs> that's what that's what'll happen you know when the kids play this with is, them this is one of my favorite ones if you remember probably a lot of people do <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's nuts and then the, the doodle face yeah that's yes. uh you know the doodle now listen john here, one of our one of our favorites believe it or not is I don't know why, but people love these. <laughs> and those I are real crickets. I don't understand. You, you eat them? Uh, no. You, yes. You yes, can, that's I, do what you, you do. No, I don't. You. That's what they're for, for people to buy and eat? That's yes. right. Sour cream and onion. So have you sold me any of those? This is about the fifth new order that we've done. Yeah. So, yeah, we've sold five or people six cases. enjoy <laughs> the oddity of it. I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand it. Now, those Tennessee crickets? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. They could be. They could be mountain crickets. One of my favorites is the beard oil here and the beard balm. Um, this is a, a local fella. It's all 100% natural and organic. Uh, the beard man, as it were. I wear that every day and I think I smell real good, to be honest with you. What do you think? Smell? Yes. Smell, smell good? Yes. Good. I'll, right. keep, I'll keep you. Well, good. This was a high demand product and it is a high demand product. The, the what do you call them? Skinny syrups or Skinny something? Skinny syrups, yep. Yep. People love that. So lots of stuff, and then the well, last thing we'll show you over here, John, is our is our local line of, of clothing. A good friend of mine, and, sh and the cups here, we'll start on this side, it'll be sure. fine. A good friend of mine, an army buddy of mine, Josh Culp, he has a company and he helps us design our logo and our cups. But these, for example, <coughs> are dishwasher safe. You know, nice solo cups. Uh, we sell these, got our logo on them. We get They're insulated. Insulated. Um, so they're really cool and we've got our hats. Uh, a lot of people come in, they want a, a Cold Creek General Store hat, sweatshirts, shirts, and stuff like that. Well, I forget about it. Tell them why this is called Cold Creek General Store. Well, so yeah, the history, maybe many people don't understand, but this little town started as, the name of it was Cold Creek. Um, and then about in the 50s or 60s or so, we decided that that wasn't proper enough maybe, so they changed the name to Lake City. Uh, and then about mm, 2007-8, we've changed the name to Rocky Top. So we went through a, a wide transition. As a matter of fact, there's some residents that live here. They've never moved, but lived in three different towns. What do you think about that? Uh, so, so Cold Creek is, uh, you know, it's, it's back to its roots and back to its traditions. And that's why we decided to go with Cold Creek General Store at Rocky Top. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. thought that was pretty neat. The old fashioned candy, you come to the general store, 
to get the old-fashioned candy and that's what right. it's for and then finally the last thing I'll show you is right over here which is our number one seller John is uh, is our taffy you know notice it's, it's strategically positioned right here by the before you leave the door you got to have some taffy um, I don't know we've probably sold 10,000 pieces of taffy I just restocked uh, it this morning. did it's you a weekly thing of yeah people love the taffy it's good it's, I don't know it's a it's a staple I think for the general store now so lots so of we, cool things yeah so it's even freeze-dried too mm. so this this same taffy that we sell here is sold oh, in, in yeah. our freeze-drying go ahead um, Matt. tell so, me about that yep so our son who's 11 has his own business which is sweet freeze treats and um, so these here that you see are the taffies um, that are on the wall and then we have a different assortment of different types of candies that are all freeze-dried um, by our son our 11 year old who has decided that he loves candy um, and he likes science a little bit uh, enough to watch things change and so he decided this is what he would like to do and he said okay let's do it so here and we are. it's pretty cool that we're getting him into understanding business I understand he's got money and product uh, and then you know how much does he have to sell it for to make a profit um, so that's kind of a kind of a neat experience I'm Kerry Templin, mayor of Rocky Top. This is my beautiful wife, Carolyn. I want to welcome everyone to Cold Creek General Store uh, and to the city of Rocky Top. We have a, a lot of interesting things you can do here in Rocky Top. Uh, we're in very close proximity to Norris Lake. Then we have uh, the uh, Windrock ATV riding areas, uh, over 75,000 acres of off-road riding uh, we have people from all over the country that show up for these areas to uh, to ride and, and stay in our town there's a lot of history here in this town uh, the cold creek war was fought here in the 1890s which uh, broke the back of the convict policing system uh, so ultimately led to the end of that uh, practice throughout the south we have one of the nation's finest trout uh, uh, areas at uh, clinch river just three miles from our location. Uh, I'll just ask anyone, uh, if you're in the neighborhood, please stop in. Hi. What are you doing? I am, we're giving away Easter eggs for the community and they get to come in here and get a free gift when they bring me their Easter egg that they found, so we hide them. Get these. That's pretty cool. And then I'm making a sign that says, bring me to the general store. Sorry, just dropped an egg. And then we go hot it, and then when they bring us the egg, I give them a free cup, some candy, taffy. Just You're hiding it in the store? No, well, out in the community. Out in the community? Yes. So how in the world are they going to find that? We post on our Facebook page with hints. And with hints? It. Oh, yes. so it's a game. It's kind of yep. a scavenger hunt. Yes, sir. Well, that sounds fun. How long have you been doing this now? Just started? Just started it yesterday. Yesterday. Yes. How many are you going to put out? The whole bag. The whole so bag of 70 of them. 70. Yes. So everybody be running around Ever. Rocky Top looking for these eggs. <laughs> yep. And we're not telling them we're putting them. We just give little clues. This is our chief of police, John Thomas. Hello. You want to introduce your crew? Uh, Who you got with yep. you today? We have some of our officers that are here with us today. This is Deputy Chief Matt McGee. This is Officer Cody Culver. This is with a bologna sandwich in his mouth. This, this is our fire chief. Hello. Yeah. Tony Braden. Is that candy? Hey. Y'all come down and get bologna sandwiches every now and then? We do. They have been uh, uh, definitely a good stopping point to get something to eat. Come on up. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, I think they just, I think, good. Did you get a number? She did give me a number. You did? Okay, yeah. good. Good. We're getting ready to do a drawing here. Oh. We're getting ready to do a little drawing. Okay, we're live here. Say hi now. We're live at the Cold Creek General Store and good old Rocky Top downtown. We're getting ready to do our drawing. Getting ready to do a free giveaway today. We just decided uh, last minute that we would give somebody a $50 Cold Creek General Store gift card. It can be utilized anytime you want. You can even can they use this online? Yes, they can use it online. So like so if somebody wants to go 
order something from California, they can use the Cold Creek General Store gift card. Yep, and ship it just this way. Okay. All righty, well, we've got a few people with us. Everybody's kind of hanging out. You do have to be present to win today, okay? So Natalie's shaking them up. Everybody got a number, right? Everybody's got a number. Here we go. And uh, the drawing, where is the card at? Oh, oh, it was almost like getting married and somebody and you lost your wedding ring. <laughs> like, where's the ring at? All right, so thank y'all for being here. We appreciate it. This is our first one we've done here in a while, but Haley, I feel like you should draw. How about that? Or should we get the young in to draw? Get the young in to draw. Young and come here. Come on. Come here, Mary. She got gloves on? She's got one glove on. Okay. We'll let her draw. That way there's okay. no partiality here. Draw you a piece of paper there. Drum roll. Just, one. Just get one. Don't get three. <laughs> that means you have to have to give three okay. gift cards. What number is it? Fourteen. 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 There it is. Yay! Yay. Woo! Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's good for about ten bologna sandwiches for the record. So, <laughs> y'all come out. Hang out with us. Yeah. She put on about 15 pounds. Jenny. All right. Well, thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all being here. Um, what else? Oh, so I, I should have announced our egg contest. So for everybody in here is Lake City people anyway. So we're going to start doing an egg contest every day. The first one's out. We'll post it on Facebook and it's a treasure hunt. Okay, the first clue is already out. And the first clue is, I'm in season, go home to find me. Go find the egg at that location. That's your clue. And when you find it inside, there's a treasure. Uh, it, you'll have instructions and uh, you will be uh, apprised. So when that one's found, we'll hide another one. So I'm hoping somebody will find it here pretty soon. I'm surprised they have it. Yeah. I hope it doesn't take a few days. Right. But we've got, where's the eggs at? They're right behind you. Oh, we got plenty of eggs. We got plenty of eggs to be yeah, so to be had. Different colors. Yep. So don't expect just one color. Just one of them. One of these. Yeah. Shiny bright eggs. Yep. Right so just follow along on that post, and uh, that's where the next clue will be. So, good luck to you. Yeah. So, so one of the things that we do at Cold Creek is we've got a special sandwich, right? And we call it the Coal Miners bologna sandwich. I'm from a long line of coal miners. As a matter of fact, every man, every male in my family were coal miners. And I used to watch my dad all the time. Thank you. I used to watch my dad get up, go to work every day. Let me have a spoon. I've got one right here. Get up, go to work every day and worked hard. And every day, mom would fix him a bologna sandwich. Now what we really do here is we, we like a grilled, or we like a cooked bologna sandwich. We do a little something special. I don't like mayonnaise. I'm gonna tell you right now. I think mayonnaise ought to be banned. And that's gonna make a lot of people mad, I know, watching this. But here's what we do. Instead of using butter, we use mayonnaise, okay? What we're gonna do with this is this gonna give it a nice grill, grilled, nice little, oh, just make that bread, that bread grilled right up. So all you do is you just put your real thin coat. Now listen, you ain't gonna taste this mayonnaise, believe it or not. You ain't gonna taste it. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put this on a real hot grill out back. Now here at the Cold Creek General Store, we don't have a kitchen. We don't have a full-on kitchen. We've just got a, we've just got a grill. Natalie, yeah. Well, I just want to tell everybody, kind of, you know. Will you go put that on the hot grill? Yeah, toss that slab of bologna on there. Now another thing that's important uh, in a bologna sandwich, you want a grilled one? Okay, another thing that's important with a bologna sandwich is that grill's gotta be hot. If the grill ain't hot right now, oh, yeah. you won't get a good char on it. Um, oh yeah, so what we've been doing here lately is that's got a lot of stuff all over it. Looks like y'all been busy. Uh, <laughs> because people like it. <laughs> Fully loaded. Uh, that's a local company right out of the North City. And go. you put a little dash on there. That's, Natalie, that, let me see that real quick. So there's no sugar in this 
I'm on a carnivore deal I've been doing right now, but there's zero sugars, no MSG, uh, no additives, no preservatives, gluten free, and we just, just good yeah, just good it's really good. And we actually sell this here at the Cold Creek General Store. Uh, it's $9.99, and it's this is all I really use anymore, even at the house to cook with. There's several different yeah. flavors. But what we're doing right now is we're grilling this thing up, and I'm going to get you a piece of cheese ready here okay. in just a second. So, uh, how long does a good old bologna sandwich have to stay on the grill? Oh, just a few minutes. Yeah, don't need to be on there long, does it? Nope. So when we opened the general store, I told Natalie, I said, one of the things that we have to have is a, is a bologna sandwich. Without it, you really don't have a good general store. You don't have a true general store. And Natalie, I was looking at the books there the other day. Our number one seller mm -hmm. at the store is taffy. Oh yeah. We sell little pieces of taffy up here and the youngins, they like to go in and just pick out two or three and sometimes we'll have people buy a hundred pieces. And then our number two seller is this right here. This is a, a tried and true coal miners bologna sandwich. Now another thing that's important about a, a bologna sandwich is you can't have a little bitty tiny thin piece of bologna. That ain't gonna work. We've got, uh, we've got teachers, people who work for the power company. We've got the gas Fire company, fighters. firefighters, police <laughs> officers. When they come in here and order a bologna sandwich, they don't want a little bitty tiny thin piece mm -hmm. of bologna. Uh, so that's, a, that's, our, that's what we tried it on is a, is a nice thick piece of bologna. And the reason that Natalie's put that dash, that, that cut in there, is to prevent that bologna from bubbling up in the middle. It won't. It won't bubble. It'll just kind of Ooh, spread out. I want to get you a, a plate here. Okay. There we go. How's that bread looking? About right. Yep. About right, Aunt. There you go. There All right. We are. I'm gonna let you do the dressings. Okay. You better at that than I am. How about mustard? No, didn't want mustard. Okay. Wanted lettuce and tomato and onion. Now this is our, like I say, this is our special. We also have um, ham and turkey. And uh, on BLT. occasions, yeah, BL, oh, well, BL, we sell a lot of BLTs. And on occasions we have chili, homemade chili down here. Normally on the weekends, it sells real good in the winter time. Oh, you gotta have a Granger Tomato. County. That's a Granger County Mater's is what we get them at. The, yeah. The other thing is when you get a big old bologna sandwich like that, <laughs> it's hard to handle. You gotta get a good cut on it. And uh, and there you go. And, and listen, we believe in the good old fashioned uh, brown paper sack. Uh, my grandpa, he, you know what my grandpa called these? Did I ever tell you? Mm -mm. This is called a poke, paper poke. So that's what I tell people when they come in here. I said, we're going to put your sandwich in a poke. And a lot of the old timers, they know what that means. But uh, the young generation, they've never heard it called a, a paper poke. But there you go. And that's, off, that's you go. Off, off to lunch you go. There you go, there you buddy. Go. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy that now. Hey. Yes, sir. Enjoy that. So Mayor was just talking about some of the stores that's been here. You grew up here. Tell us what's been in this building over the years. Uh, the last place I remember that was in here when I was a kid, I stopped by here walking from elementary school, which is just right down the street. This was Phillips Grocery, and it was just a typical little small grocery store. We had probably a half a dozen little stores like this in town at the time. Uh, and it closed sometime in the mid-70s. Uh, the building stayed vacant for a long time, and then a, uh, an antique auction barn went in here and operated for years but just like typical of the south there were dozens of little stores like this uh, in an area that the, the local people utilized you could just walk to the store had a little butcher shop in here and cold storage uh, that served the community well one of the things that was important for us was number one I can't be here and I'm not here that much because we're busy Natalie's busy but it was important for us to find someone who knew this town, loved this town, and 
friend that could relate to everyone here in Rocky Top, and that was this lady right here, yes, Miss Haley Braden, and we're just super excited to have her. She runs. This is her domain, right? Yes. I mean, like we've given Haley the authority to do pretty much everything, um, and it's been an adventure. You think? Uh, a big one, but I'm here for it, and that's what I enjoy. Yeah. The majority of people walking through that door yeah. is what I really like the most. And, of course, that it's local product. You can't yeah. go wrong with local made stuff. So, yeah. And that's a big thing that people come looking for. You know, the cool thing about this mm -hmm. store is it's supported by the people mm -hmm. here yep. in Rock Top. Yes, we have out-of-towners, and we love that. We love people that are coming from Knoxville and Clinton in Minnesota and Illinois to come ride the mountains but at the end of the day this store cannot survive without the support of the people here that in town yep. you know uh, and I think that's what you try to do all the time yes like product like people come in and ask you a lot I think about products right yes. like what's what are some of the things that you think that they love about this I think it's the variety and just to know that we just have it i don't know yeah like it's just i don't know it's heartwarming because you can't really go somewhere around here that has the local products that we have to know that somebody around here made that they put their time they put their heart into right. it um but definitely well, we don't have a walmart here. no we don't have a we don't have a grocery store, store here we don't no. have a grocery store no. so we got dollar general we got some of those yeah. things but i think that's what you really try to do right. is keep things that you can't go to dollar general exactly that's and that's what they come for so yeah we have a diverse selection of items here all the way from kids toys to candies to drinks to food and then we're now selling fresh eggs yep. so i mean oh, yeah. if you and can't now, if you can't get it someplace else you can get it here we have beef and eggs and you know and who knows soap. right and, and mm. we're just getting more and more things in right and you you do such a great job of keeping things new and fresh right. and, I think and, that's I think, and that's appreciate. another thing is as i obviously we have regulars that come in here just to eat or just to come hang out yeah. but i always have new product yeah. i always try to get new product weekly whether it's something that somebody just brought in and made or somebody walks in off the street and says hey i make this i try to make a deal so we can get them in here and that happens a lot a lot lots of people they and, and sometimes they're a little bit confused they don't know if they, if we're like a consignment store right. or something along those lines but we don't we don't do that yeah. we we buy their products so they get paid immediately yes and that's important yeah. for some small entrepreneur who's making a product they need to go ahead and get paid right now well, right. Yeah. you know and that's important the mom with the baby on her hip who yes. needs you know who needs to go down take that money and you know go get formula or diapers or gas Absolutely. or whatever it is that, that they need um you know we, we support and, and a di multiple different ways it's just like a revolving circle though because yes. it always comes back it is yeah. right and then their product gets sold to a local right here in the community <clears throat> which is interesting like how this has all become an evolution if you think about it like the vision of this store was always to go walk in the door and go back in time just for a minute but it was also a vision of having some really cool products to be able to buy without leaving. Right. Right. Like, I don't, I want them to be able to buy here and not have to leave to go to Knoxville or go someplace. Right. And it's evolved into such a really, really cool thing to where we can now, like, ha nearly half of the store, or a third of it at least, is local yep. made vendor, you know? Products. Yeah. You know, gosh, a lot of it's in Rocky Top. Like the the candle lady, she's in Clinton, I'm pretty sure. Yep. But they're unbelievable. Yeah. Like I would put her candles up against any major manufacturer. But we started with candles with her, but now she does diffusers, and then what she just brought in last week was the laundry soap. Laundry soap. So <clears throat> you know, it it just keeps on getting because she can expand now, and yeah. then she tells her friends, and then they come see me. So yeah. I really like that. I'm now in season. Go home to find me. What does that mean? Well, a new baseball season was starting and home plate, so oh. we went to home plate and we found it there. Yes. And there was the egg. And then you had instructions. Yes. What was the instructions inside? Instructions. Read me. Bring me to the general store for a free prize. There okay. you go. So there we are. 
for pick. our free prize. You get a pick. What color do you want? Do what color do you want? Oh, you just get one for me. Good to work. Blue. And there's your party cup. Now yeah. that, that's a party cup. It can be washed. It's okay. insulated. It's it's awesome. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for playing. Thanks Absolutely. for finding Thank you. Have a great day. We're gonna go. We're gonna be posting the next clue here in the next what thirty yeah. minutes hour. All right. Thank you. Thank you. See y'all. Thanks for participating. Thank you. Right now, like legit, the team needs to come up with because they were loving that. Got it. Right. So we got to come up with another cool riddle. Where's it got to be? It's got to be in Rocky Top. Like I feel like we should go to City Hall. Maybe something about I'm in charge of the town. Come that's see me easy. at the front door. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. That's too easy. Well, let's go. Because. I felt like they did that really fast, so maybe our clues need to be just a It took them an hour and a half. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean. Haley? Calm down. I think, let's Haley see. knows the town better let's than anybody. Let's see, um, what, where do you think would be a good? If the, the museum was open, I think <gasps> that would be really cool. Oh. So we can just go outside the museum Yeah, somewhere. we can do it outside the museum the about being a coal miner. Coal yes. miner. Um, and make okay, it a scavenger so. hunt just to find it there. Like mm. coal miner. Let's think about flower. something coal. I started as a. Uh, let's think about something about men, coal mining, and then the museum. You come here to see historical things. Or how about come see no, me? No, let's give it away. Come see me. Come see, come me. see me. Where history meets history meets today, okay. or the past. Yes, today. Find I know. Dude, how about I used to hold money, but now I hold history and oh, something else. Oh, because it used to be a bank. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Find, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Find me where you can find history. Yeah. Or no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah so, a bank, then bank. Yeah. Because so, it still has a whole the so old draft window there. Where I used to hold money, but now I hold history. But you got to put it outside too somewhere. So like, this got a little area outside. There's got to be somewhere outside too. So I don't know if they got a flagpole. Or... Oh, they got a whole, they got a little flower pot outside. We got to hide it too. Yeah. So one of the things that we are most proud of right here is we sell grass-fed ground beef. Now, what we really like about this not only is it grass-fed ground beef, but it's from right here in Anderson County, right? Yes. I mean. It's grass fed its whole life. Last 90 days, it's put on gra it's put on grain for the, you know fatten it up a little bit. But there's no place to get nowhere around here. around here. Like you just can't get local beef. And this and is off Georgia's farms, USDA approved. And we don't have a ton left. I mean, this, this is a is it. this is a big cow that we got. All um, of our steaks and everything's gone. Yeah, we sold every bit of our yep. steaks, all of our short ribs, strips, fillets. Now, one of the cool things is when we make chili down here, our homemade chili, it's made from this ground beef. And on occasion, Haley will cook up some burgers. Yes. And uh, yeah. And that's what that's what gets them. Because that's why I like making chili. Because when they come back, they're like, oh my gosh, what did you put in your chili? It's this beef right that here. Beef. Yeah. And then they come and buy it. Because there's because a lot of people are scared. Like they don't know. They're used to buying Walmart, or now we have a Yugo, but. Now they come here and buy this, and that's what I love about it. And you have no idea what's in that. Beef. Oh, no. You know what I mean? Like, if you go buy it, at, and I'm not necessarily saying it, whatever, but we know what's in this beef, and it's no. grass and grain. And that's me it. personally, I'd never had beef like this. And then now that I have had it, now I know the difference, and so does my kids. My kids can tell the difference. Between, that's what I was going to say. Didn't your, didn't yes, Braxton or one of the boys? Yes. Yeah. My oldest can tell the difference now between our beef and then Walmart beef. So. Yep. We stick to the, the real deal. So you like cold country stores too? Oh yeah, yeah, I love them. What's your name? Chambers Williams. Chambers, good to meet you, Chambers. Yeah, I'm, I'm with the Clinton Courier News here. But oh, are you? I retired as business editor in the New Sentinel about five years ago. Oh, okay, yeah. To, to our home in Norris, and my wife kind of kicked me out because I kept telling her how to reorganize her house. <laughs> she said, "Go find something to do." So. I've been doing that at uh, practicing journalism at the Courier News since then. So. Yeah, well, how about that? So what do you think about the store here? What do you think about it. what uh, Jason's it. done? Yeah, I love what he's done here. And it's nice for Rocky Top because, you know, ever since coal left and <laughs> right. town started going downhill, it's needed something like this for a while. That's the way it is with a lot of towns that 
relied on coal for their main income, so. It is. I mean, you know, I'm from West Virginia, and I was state editor of the Charleston Daily Mail for a long time. Went out and covered a whole lot of that, the decline of the coal industry. And, uh, towns like this all over West Virginia. Oh, yeah. yeah. no life in the downtown area. Right. It's hard. So, yeah, it's great that what Jason's done here. Yep. I'm glad he's here. In addition to Cold Creek General Store, some of the other great uh, things that you can visit in our town, we have Cold Creek Coffee, we have a, a couple of really nice antique shops, then we have uh, the Mining Museum, Cold Creek, that displays a lot of the history of our area. Please come to Rocky Top. Any place you leave out? Nope, I think he pretty much covered it. Well, I, I sure enjoy uh, the park down here, Norris Down Park. That's mm -hmm. just up the hill a little ways, a few miles. So. Oh, yeah. That's always a guy's nice place. So there's quite a few places. And then we got uh, Clinton, not far. Oh, yes. Downtown uh, Clinton. Clinton. Clinton has a, a very large antique district. Uh, downtown. Yes, downtown. They uh, also have events on a regular basis where they close Market Street. They're doing a lot of uh, renovation down there right now. Uh, but that's also a, a, a great uh, location to visit. Flowers. Think so? What do you think? Flowers over here that's pink. Okay, we're gonna hide it. 